In this video, we are going to discuss and implement a coronavirus infection probability using machine learning. Now we are doing this on this particular data set, randomdata.csv. This data set is there, which is having a fever, that means the degree of temperature, age, body pain, if it is there or not, difficulty in breathe, runny nose, travel, cough, and the probability that you may get infected or not. Now this is just the random data which I have generated and uh, we have to note that because our data is not accurate here so it's not necessary to predict our model correctly we're just trying to understand how machine learning can help us if we have the official and accurate data then we can create an accurate model also so firstly you can see i have imported a few libraries that is pandas numpy sklearn and from sklearn matrices i have imported the mean squared error next this thing is quite clear to you i guess that we have used to read the csv file that i have uploaded here here you can see the random data.csv and i've shown you the first five samples we can see or the first five entries which are there so these are the first five entries which i've shown you with the help of head you know the head function data.head so with that help with the help of that i can show you the first five entries next what we need to do now we can see in the output that the basic features of coronavirus infection that is fever cold etc and the last column is the probability that is the measure of all the features 0 and 1 1 where means you have an infection and 0 means no infection is there now if you want to check the information of the data then you can simply write like this data dot info And here you can see that the class is actually pandas core data frame that is quite clear because we have stored in that form only you can see the columns not null the count and the data type and integer which are there so this is how you can get the information about the data that what kind of information is actually there so we have to check the information of data so that we can do any correction that is required for any null values or any column type etc so that we do not face any problem in further processing of the data now we have to define our target that is y and features that is x so in x i will drop this particular column of probability lest all i am taking as the features i can say and this is the target the probability which will be y so in the x data set we are going to write like this data dot drop and which field you are dropping you have to give the name of the field so we are dropping this probability field so here i can write that and next i have to give her the axis here you can see that collab also shows you for your referral only the parameters which needed to be given and then i will write like this print x dot head to print the entries which are there now and print the data in y that what is the data in y right now so we have to write for like this print data in y and then we have to in y set we can say the target set the data which is there is probability and similarly you can print the y dot head also to display the first flight entries which are there so here you can see now in the x data set we have excluded the probability and that is now in the y data set you can see that so in this section we have defined our target that is y and the features are x basically our target is to define the infection probability based on the features so that have been separated from the column infection probability y and from the other columns that is the x so the separation is now done next step which we need to do is split the data into the train set and the test set that is the x train x test and y train y test with the help of x scalar model selection train test split we are going to do that we will give a test size that this is the data required for testing and we will mention a random state also So here you can see that we have applied the train test split function from SQL and model selection into train and test set of data that is splitting the data for the training and the testing purpose. So that is also done. Next what we need to do is convert into the NumPy array which is there. So for doing that we have to write like this print x train to NumPy. So 
Similarly, we have to write y dream to numpy, x test to numpy, and y tests to numpy. So I have written that, and as I execute this particular cell, here you can see that all have been converted into the array. You can see the numpy array conversion into a numpy array has been done. Next, what we need to do, we have to import the logistic regression model from sklearn dot linear model. We have to import that, and then we will store it and train our model with the help of logistic regression. So we will import the logistic regression in machine learning model and train the model using the fit function. For that, we have to write like this firstly from sklearn dot linear model import logistic regression. And that time storing here loading in CLF. And then I have to train the model. Now for training the model, y train predict we create a variable and that we fit the data that is x train and the y train. So here I will create a y train predict and in that I will write like this clf dot fit and we have to give the data set which is the train data set so that is x train and y train. Next, what we need to do now, we have to do the prediction using the model. So, for that, we will give certain values and see that what is the prediction there. So, we will create a variable like this infection equals to CLF dot predict. And we have to give the same number of values we can say that are there in the columns which are there. That is the X test we know that there is fever, there is age, body pain, difficulty in breathe, runny nose, travel and cough. So we have to give the values of all these particular seven columns which are there. That is fever, age, body pain, difficulty in breathe, runny nose, travel and cough. And according to that it will give us the probability that is there any probability or not. So the values which I am giving here is Fever I am giving is 98 and next set of values I am giving like this. So I have given 7 set of values which are there and next we can predict the other also the infection probability prediction can also be done and then we have to print both the infection and the infection probability. Now firstly we need to print the prediction Now firstly we need to print the infection and then we need to print the infection probability And as I execute this particular cell here you can see that in this part, we have predicted the infection and the infection probability that the model has been preferred. And as you can see, the output have two types. We have two types of output. In the first output, we have predicted directly 1 or 0, you have to say. Whereas in the other, we have calculated the probabilities of the infection which is there. We used here logistic regression because this is a categorical data. If you want, you can use any other model also. Model selection completely depends on the accuracy of the model. That how accurate the model will be according to that only you could actually select or we can say apply for any other model selection also. So this is the complete code for checking the coronavirus infection probability using machine learning. And the link of the referral notes will be given to you in the video description.